Greetings, brothers and sisters. Be seated. We're glad. Turn me up back there, please. We're glad to be back home again. <clears throat> we are grateful that God gave us a very successful trip to Europe, to Amsterdam, for our first combined European conference. Sixty souls were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and we had a jam-packed auditorium. I want to apologize to my viewers. The camera crew we had was not our regular camera crew. We hired a group over there that made a very good mess. I had no idea that the sound was going out until I <clears throat> saw it Saturday night. There was so much sound that went out. and I met with them on Saturday before I got in the pulpit to give them some directives. I know what kind of shots I like. I know the type of sound that I like so uh, everybody can benefit from the gospel. And they didn't pay me no mind. And after the mess they made on Saturday, I tied into the owner Sunday morning. He said, you don't want to talk to me. You want to talk to the sound guy. I said, then both of you come up here. You own the company, so he worked for you. And I got both of them told. And they still made a mess. But uh, I noticed certain statements when we make the sound of just die. That's uh, all right. Uh, yeah. It was sent to Skaleski. We'll see what he's able to do with it and put it over the air. You probably can't correct the sound problem, but. You know, it was a mess. <clears throat> Good help is hard to come by. That's why when the announcement is made in reference to those that are interested in being trained for sound and audio and cameras, I advise all those that are interested, you take these announcements serious. Because we're not at all a local church. This work is international and it constantly is growing. In fact, let me backtrack. Did I, let, did I remind you that there's only one God? Well, if I didn't, I want to keep that in front of you. There's only one here. And we associate none to be equal to him, better than him, greater than him. We credit him for all the things that is being done thus far. Now let me say that uh, to all of the locations here in America, you that are responsible for organizing, you have what you call your what is it, resurgence service or re-energize, <laughs> re-something. Well, let me say this. I don't want nobody to take matters in their own hands and just popping up organizing services clashing with what we already have on the calendar. Please don't take matters in your own hands. And then ignorantly say, Pastor Jennings, we thought you knew. If you didn't come to me, how are you going to think we know? Now, the only one that knows all things is our Heavenly Father. And God knows Williams is not him. No, I'm not him, Pastor. And I'm not him. No, you're not either, Pastor. <laughs> Just agreeing with you, Pastor. Amen. So... Let me say this, all of you that's responsible for your re-energizing or resurgence, whatever you call it, 
You contact headquarters first. You reach out to my secretary, Sister Michelle Meredith. Give her your dates and let, and she'll convey everything to me. Let her know what the program consists of, the times, and the months. And then I will approve or disapprove if we can put it on the calendar. Because our calendar is full already. Do you know we have so far 11 convocations a year? Wow. Now, y'all are only in about three of them. <laughs> but the rest fall on us. We have so far, so far, up to 11 convocations a year. And still growing. Because there are still foreign countries being added. So all of you that's responsible for the re-energize, whatever you call it, refreshing. Bible says, this is the rest, which is called the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing. So you that love to be so refreshed, for now on, do not. Take it upon yourselves to announce nothing. And to have it ran by our desk. Because you don't know what event that your overseer have going on. So be considerate of the fact you do have an overseer. If you didn't know it, thou knowest now. You contact my secretary, and then she'll run it by us because we're getting ready to make the 2024 schedule. And believe me, when I say full, it's full. Because you never know who I may have to preach in these resurgence. You don't have the authority to go grab some preaching. Mm -mm. That's why you got to run it by me. You may run and get a brother who may be leaning to backslide. You may run and get a brother who's already trying to peddle his little CDs of the services where he was ministering, trying to get members right within the truth of God. You don't think of none of these things. You just think of being energized. Mm -hmm. Recharged. You may be recharged right in the lake of fire. You may run and get someone who's slandering the church and slandering the leader. You don't think of none of these things. Well, Pastor Jennings, we know that if you put someone up, they are right. Did I tell you that? Well, Pastor Jennings, you won't put no one up that's wrong. Jesus did. Yes, he did. And he was an apostle. That's right. You can't be no more wrong than Judas. No. Yeah, me good. That's right. <laughs> you see, folks don't think of the Bible. No. But you can't be no more wrong than Judas. No. He betrayed the greatest teacher under the sun. And Jesus was he. And he was already in betrayal mode. That's right. So be, be careful. You ask us, can brother so-and-so speak? Don't no minister take it upon yourself to just throw somebody up in the pulpit. You better wait. That's right. For the one you throw up may replace you. That's right. Amen. You bear in mind, there's an order to church. The truth of God is not a freelance ministry. If you want freelance, you got to get T.D. Snakes in. Benny Hill and Creflo O Quarter. I believe the word of God should be followed. I don't care how much joy you have and how much anointing you have. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. So stop by our desk first. It ain't going to take nothing from you. It won't hurt you. From this day forward, there's any other resurgence or recharge services planned 
for 2023 is canceled. All the rest of you for 2024, send all of your requests to the secretary. You don't give it thought. We have up to 11 convocations a year. And we got all these branch church anniversaries. And then I'm traveling, setting up new works. And we don't want nothing to overlap the other. Absolutely nothing. I understand there's supposed to be a resurgence or refreshing <laughs> or something. The same time we are in Ohio. That's canceled. Mm. Amen. It's supposed to be in Raleigh. No, it won't. It's canceled. Yeah. Amen. 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 You want to be in service? Come to Ohio. That's right. Believe me, when you're sitting where your overseer is teaching, you won't get no better refreshing than that. Amen. We don't want people to take these services and just use it as a time for jumping and shouting. That's right. There ain't no refreshing. That's hellionism. That's right. All that jumping and shouting with no sound docking being preached. Yeah. Shouting don't keep you. The word of God is what keep you. That's right. Amen. That's the thing that keep us is God's word being preached. That's it. So you that took matters in your hands and planned Raleigh, North Carolina and nothing ran by our desk is canceled. Come to Ohio. You'll get your refreshing there. Amen. You bear this thing in mind. There's an order to church. And uh, we held that order in the basement. Yes, you did. And please don't think because we have several thousands that Pastor Jennings can't keep up. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. No, no. This is my GPS system here. That's right. And uh, church is not something you just come together and play. No. If you don't know what church is, let me explain something. There are two sacrifices in the Bible. Right and wrong. Yeah. And do you not know, give me the book of Revelation, when the incense went up before Jehovah. I want sweet smell and I want stink. Sweet smell of the incense that burnt went up towards heaven, which are the prayers of the saints. Right. Now, whenever a sacrifice is offered, I want us to get this. Whenever a sacrifice is offered, it falls in two categories. Either it pleases God or it don't please him. That's right. Even if you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and even if you have the Holy Ghost. We don't want folk to look at church as just a bunch of, you know, a bunch of young people come together and clapping and all that singing. And no, 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 no. If it ain't the word of God is not being preached, you ain't having church. That's right. In other words, be careful That's that right. you don't be so excited over the progress of the church, you fall right into falsehood. That's right. I'm not blinded by the progress of the church. Not at all. That's right. I don't want people to fall in the falsehood and thinking they're worshiping God and you're just entertaining yourselves yeah. under the heading of church. That's right. Now, what refreshes you? What refreshes you? If you're going to call it refreshing, what refreshes you? That's right. Choir refresher, you're lost. Jumping, shouting, that refresher, oh, you lost. True refreshing come from when the word of God is preached. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. Someone said, Pastor Jennings, I feel refreshed. I just received the Holy Ghost. That's wonderful. But now you got to have something to refresh that temple after you receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. And 
And music is designed to make you feel good. Bob your, bob your head. Clap your hands. Music is not designed to refresh man's soul. That's right. Our soul must be refreshed. It's fresh. By God everlasting word. That's right. Without the refreshing of the word being preached, then that soul will die. That's right. Singing ain't going to make me live holy. Hmm. Clapping and jumping around is good, but it ain't good enough to make me live holy. No. If it is, I'm going to clap myself. I'm just going to walk around the street clapping. That's right. The scriptures and the preaching of it is the nucleus, the center of worship. Because from the Ark of the Covenant, God's speech flows. What is the New Testament Ark of the Covenant? The scriptures. scriptures. Because within the scriptures contain God promises for the church. Oh, yeah. And God promises for the sinner. That's right. I want to say God ain't made no promises for the sinner. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It's yes. called eternal hell. Yeah. There's promises for the righteous and there's promises for the unrighteous. There's promise for the holy. There's promise for the unholy. There's promises for the godly. There's promises for the ungodly. That's right. Hear me good. In the book of Revelation chapter 5. Follow me. And we'll start at verse 8. All right. And when he had taken the book. The four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb. When he had taken the book. The book. You better go up the verse above that. At verse seven. All right. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him. Go to verse one. Verse one. Follow me. And I saw in the right hand of him that said. Give chapter and verse, son. Revelation chapter five and we're at verse one. I want you to follow me. This is John the Apostle on the Isle of Patmos. That's right. Brother of James. Sons of Zebedee, students of Jesus. The apostle was on the Isle of Patmos. That's right. Book of Revelation mean those things that were revealed. The book of Revelation is a threefold book. Deal with matters of the past. Deal with matters of the present. Deal with matters of the future. Are you listening? That's right. Within the book of Revelation is the testimony of Jesus because John often referred back to what the prophets have said. That's right. And the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. I want you to follow me good. Revelation chapter 5 and we're at verse 1. All right. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne. I saw in the right hand of them. Of him. Only one up there. Only one up there. Him. Saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book. A book. Written within and. Written within and without. And on the backside. And on the backside. Sealed with seven seals. And. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. What was it? Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals <coughs> thereof? Who is worthy? Glory to God. You know, everybody is not worthy to open the book. Open the book. Now, what you mean, open the book? Open, open the book have three meanings. To open the book physically, to open it. To open the book meaning, to fulfill it. Yeah. To open the book meaning, to explain it. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Now, Jesus, of course... Done all that. All of that. He fulfilled it. He explained it. He manifests what the prophet said would come. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Now, only thing we can do now, in fact, we still can do all three. We can physically open it. Yes. And we can fulfill what's in there. By doing right or wrong. That's right. And only a few mm. can explain it. Explain it. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. For the word of God says you have 10,000 instructors and yet not many fathers. Yes. Meaning you don't have many fathers, them that is of age, that have the wisdom 
That's necessary to have. That's right. They give instructions like it should be given. And the we're, vision. We're, we're living in a time where instructions from the word of God is a high priority. That's right. Hear me good? It's a high priority. Oh, yeah. And we're living in a time where people's ears are very deaf. Dull, dull and dull. just don't want to hear the word of God. That's While right. I was sitting up there, uh, there was a, there's a visiting minister here, passed up his license. He passed his license up to me. Where's the minister at? I'm asking him, stand on your feet. Glad to have you here, sir. <laughs> Amen. He passed his license up to me. He didn't pass it up so I could know he's a preacher. He sent the message and told me to burn it for him. <laughs> huh. Glory to God. Well, the word of God will show us what we are. I received word out of uh, Portland, Oregon, NBA player. Used to play, uh, what's the uh, team, basketball team there in Portland, Oregon? Yeah, man, yeah, you colonel minds, you would know. I had to set you up, you know, I had to do that. You know. I was hoping Williams would get it because he's the closest one to me. But yes, the... <laughs> The Trailblazers, the Trailblazers there in Portland, he was an NBA player there, I think, for about 8 or 11 years, and he just got drafted to uh, Milwaukee. Yeah. And the Milwaukee Bucks, that's right, Nick. <laughs> and uh, so he been listening to the message. And I, I'm told that he's supposed to be some rapper, I don't know, but he made a song. What? And he included my name in the song. <laughs> He's supposed to be a Christian. But I think they take the text me part of the lyrics. He said, uh, Gino Jennings is making me rethink my faith. No, I'm not making you. The word of God is making the world rethink their faith. That's right. Every NBA player, every NFL player, Every baseball player, soccer, who and boxer, athlete, period, athlete. who's professing to be this Christian, mm -hmm. and you have never repented of your sins, never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, never had the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongue like the word of God said, you have never been born again since you pick up a baseball, football, soccer ball, basketball, a hockey stick, pool stick, whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. One thing about God, he don't care how much money you have, nor your position in the earth. That's right. When God Almighty make a preacher, hallelujah, he send that preacher to the world. Amen. And God knows we're sent too, brother. Oh, yes. To let the world know to come on back to the Bible and do this thing right. Do it right. Amen. In fact, I believe his name is Damien uh, Dillard. Dillard. Lillard. Yes, that's his name. That's his name. Damien. In fact, I, uh, he said he desired to meet us in person. Wonderful. And uh, so they sent him an invitation to come for the dedication service of the uh, main auditorium. So, Damien, you come on. I got a three-point shot loaded with Acts 238 here. Right. Amen. No, maybe it's all about it. Amen. When you, when you stop going to your false church, when you go to your false church, fake them out. Fake them out. Amen. I'm passing you Acts 238 now. You grab it. Go and take God and get ready to do the hoop right to the water. Amen. 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 He is not the first. He is not the first and only NBA player. There's been several, quite a bit of them, and then reached out to us and then came and visited. Because have you noticed all these sports athletes now claiming they're Christians? Yeah. And a lot of them will visit the church of God in Christ. Right. You know, like uh, the actor, what's his name, uh, Denzel Washington and uh, Chris uh, Tucker and what's the fella name who always cussing? Yeah, oh yeah, Samuel Jackson. <laughs> One of the greatest cussing actors out there. You know, they all claim they're Christians. Hang out with the church of God and Christ who don't preach to live holy. Right. And this is what God is 
uh, dealing with me moreover to wake creation up. You can hide under the title Christian all you want. But it ain't none of you like Christ until you do it on his terms. That's right. If you don't do it on his terms, when you die, they can have the greatest funeral, the greatest celebration, all they want. When you stand before the judgment seat of God and here you see one on the throne, bless God who face outshines the sun itself. Oh, yes. And you hear his voice sounding like many waters. Oh, yeah. And that voice tell you personally, depart, depart, depart from, me. from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Never Glory, hallelujah. I don't know you. Never knew you. That's going to be the worst time of your existence right. to be rejected by the most high God. That's right. Amen. So you celebrities that's attracted to these mega churches like T.D. Snakes and Benny Hill and uh, the Church of God in Christ. It ain't none of them teaching you to how to be born again like the Bible says. How to walk with God like the Bible says. How to abstain from foreign and kids. Because if they was, you celebrities wouldn't be able to be there comfortable with your second wife, third wife, fourth wife, fifth wife. That's right. Wouldn't be able to do it. But these bishops not going to say nothing because no. they are impressed with you. Now here you're looking at a preacher made by hands of heaven that ain't impressed with nobody. Amen. You born of a woman like I am. You got to use the bathroom like I do. You got to take a bath like I do. And one day you're going to die and stand before God. Oh yes. Oh, yes. God, hallelujah. Do you understand that your money, your gold, your fleet of cars and your fleet of prostitutes and Go your ahead. mansions it won't help you that's right because when you die you going out the way you came in naked you came into the world naked. oh we take god and naked you shall return that's right amen so damien you come on and bring several of your nba players with you amen and uh all you 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 basketball and football players you come on the greatest touchdown you can make is when you go into the kingdom of God. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's the greatest touchdown you can make. Don't you see? Don't you see? God done handed us the scripture. Oh, yeah. And I'm telling you, go long. Go long. I'm throwing your Bible. Catch it, I said. Catch it. And when you catch it, obey it. Go ahead. See, these preachers won't tell you what you should do because you are big multi-million dollar contributors. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you what the word of God say if you don't give a fake dollar. Hmm. I don't care what you don't give. You better give your soul before you die. That's right. Because it's going to be a sad hour when you stand before God. Fifth chapter of the book of Revelation. Come on, Williams. Let's have it. Revelation 5, now I'm at verse 2. All right. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. I saw a strong angel. Strong angel. Strong. Proclaiming with proclaiming. a loud voice. Proclaiming. That's what got my mouth so wide. <laughs> Amen. God done made my mouth wide and gave us a strong voice. Oh, yes. Thank God so we can proclaim what is written here. That's right. Uh -huh. Who is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to open the book? And to loose the seals thereof. And to uh, loose the seals thereof or to fulfill what is written. That's right. Now, you know, blood had uh, loosed the book. In other words, let me give you a better understanding. Whenever an artist is alive, like Vincent Van Gogh and Michelangelo, what's some of them other ones, Williams? Renoir. Yeah, Renoir. Uh -huh. Poisson. Who? Poisson. Croissant? Poisson. Oh. With a P, Pastor. Cro Croissant is what I like to eat. <laughs> Picasso. Picasso. All right, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because, you know, art was his thing, and... He used to try to do art, and oh, Lord. We were, that's another, that's another, that's oh, another day. Lord. But anyway, <laughs> whenever an artist is alive and do a painting, a lot of times his painting don't have much value while he lives. That's right. But when he died, die. that artwork goes sky high. That's right. Now it becomes worth millions and millions of dollars. That's but right. his death, his death, is what brings. 
value That's right. to his works. That's right. Jesus' death, That's right. glory to God, is what brought the power That's right. of the scriptures to manifest itself. In the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Don't you know when he, before he shed blood, yes. if there was no shedding of blood, no remission. And everything was waiting That's right. on the shedding of blood. That's right. Uh, by his blood not being shed, it held everything up from being redeemed. That's right. We could not be connected with no. God as long as he had that blood. That's right. He had to shed it. He had to shed In it. In fact, there was no New Testament. No. As long as it was locked in his body. That's right. The New Testament, before it was ink and paper, it was blood. It was blood. You better give me in the book, book of First Corinthians. You better give me Corinthians first, first and Corinthians. then we we'll get the testator yes. of the testament, yes. and then we we'll go back to the fifth chapter of the book of Revelation. First Corinthians chapter eleven, and, and we'll start at verse twenty-five. Hear this. He took the cup when he had supped. He took the cup when he had supped, saying, "This cup, this cup, is the New Testament. Is the New Testament in my blood? What?" This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Did you hear that? That's right. Amen. New Testament. New Testament. It was all in his blood. Now, when they pierced him in the side, right. out came blood and water. That's right. when the New Testament was released. That's right. That's why he bore the he wore the title prophet, right. which represents the Old Testament, mm -hmm. and he wore the title apostle, yes. which represents the New Testament. That's right. He was called prophet. Moses said, God shall raise up a prophet like me and him, so you hear in all things. He was called apostle for the Bible said, wherefore, holy brother, and partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. So he is called prophet because Christ is the end of the law. He is called apostle because Jesus is the first member in the church. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. All right, son, what is that? Now in the book of Hebrews chapter 9, and we're at verse 16. All right. For where a testament is. Where? Hallelujah. Amen. A testament is. There must also, there of must also there is a need be the death, the death of the testator. Of a testator. Now here, right. now here you have the Lord, the author, the author. and finisher of our, faith. of our faith. Many say Moses wrote the first five books and this one wrote that book and that one wrote that book and that one wrote that book. They make it appear as if the book was written on their own. No, no, no. Oh, the no. holy God that made the heavens and the earth moved on men holy to write. Man. That's right. Until it is written that all scriptures are given by, by the inspiration, the inspiration of, God. of God. So God. God inspired them to write what he wanted the world to know. That's right. And no man laid or rather uh, relied on his own thinking. No. Until the prophecy came not in the old time by the will of man, but the holy man of God spake. As they was moved by the Holy Ghost, the Holy as Ghost. they was moved by Jehovah, as they was moved by the Lord, as they was moved by the Spirit of Christ. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling For you? For where a testament is, where a testament is, there must also of necessity. There must. Amen. There must. There must also of necessity. Of necessity. Be the death of the testament. Somebody got to die. That's yeah. right. Hallelujah. The Old Testament was written, oh, but yes. if Jesus would not have died, oh, everything yes. would have just laid there. That's right. Just laid there. That's right. Somebody had to die, and in order for death to come, death liberated the scriptures. Go ahead, man. Are you getting Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Death brought scriptural liberation. And for this cause, listen at this, now in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 15, for this cause, he is the mediator. He is what? He is the mediator of what? Of the New Testament. Hold it. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the mediator. He's the mediator of the New he Testament. He come along and said, ain't nobody coming to the Father except by me. Go ahead, man. Huh? That's Go right. God. That's right. Hallelujah. For this cause, he's the mediator. He is the mediator. Nobody. Absolutely but nobody. Nobody. What do you mean? Nobody can get to the everlasting life That's until right. they first accept the performance of the natural life. That's right. Nobody can get to the inner man. That's right. Until they accept the lifestyle of the outer man. That's right. And for this cause, for this reason, he is the mediator of the he New Testament. Is between of the New Testament. He's between. That's right. You know, you, you, you preachers out there says, after the last prophet Malachi died, 
there was 400 years of darkness. I don't know how many years it was. That's no, right. no, the Bible don't say how many years it was. No, no. The Bible just says darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. That's right. And the prophet Zechariah says, I believe, in the evening time, it, it shall, be, shall light. be light. It shall be light. So here come Jesus, who was the Son of God, God manifested in the flesh. That body was the mediator. That's right. The man was the mediator. Some folks say, well, you said the body was the mediator. That's right. That's Give right. Give the book of Timothy. Now, now in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2. Says what? And at verse 5. And for there is one God. There is one God. And one mediator. There is one spirit. One mediator. And one, listen, there is one God. There is one God. There is one spirit. And one mediator. And one son. Between God. Hold it. That's, go ahead, man. What did he say? For there is one God. <laughs> there is one spirit and one mediator. And one mediator means one son. That's it. Not two gods. It separates the nature. That's right. God, spirit, mediator, human. That's right. And let's see the nature of the human. For there is one God yes. and one mediator. Tell us who it was. Between God and men. Who is it? The man. The what? The man. The what? The man. The what? The man. What's his name? Christ Jesus. The man, the man was the flesh. The man. The man was his body. That's right. The man was the son. That, who, the right. man was the lamb. That's right. The man was the minister. The man was the prophet. The man was the apostle. The man was the servant. For there is one God and one mediator. Are you listening? Between God and men. Who was it? The man Christ Jesus. And the man Christ Jesus consists of flesh and blood. Who gave himself. He did what? Who gave himself. He died. A ransom for all. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. He died. Who gave himself a ransom for all. A ransom for all. Now, if that wasn't done, mm. the New Testament wouldn't have been no good. No. That's right. Because there had to be the death of the testator. Of a testator. For where a testament is. Where a testament is. There must also of oh, necessity. You, 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 there's a need there. Be the death of the testator. All of the Old Testament would have been in vain. That's right. If the testator wouldn't die. That's right. If Jesus would not have died, the, the Old Testament would have been held up. Held up. It would have been stuck. That's yeah. right. Because so much would never have took place. Oh, yes. Don't you know if he wouldn't have died, the church wouldn't have started. That's right. Huh? That's right. So then what good would Isaiah's words be? Yeah. That it shall come to pass in the last day that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hill and all nations shall flow into it. it. It would no nation flow nowhere. That's right. He had to die. He Lord, to take die. God to get that thing free. And for this cause, how if he wouldn't have died, where would the fulfillment be? The Lord said unto my Lord. That's right. Sit down on my right hand. That's right. Until I make thy enemies thy footstool. That's right. If he would not have died, it would have helped everything up. Well, everything up. Amen. So he just couldn't come in the flesh and walk and talk and preach and do signs and wonders. No. No, no. That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. He had to die. Hallelujah. That's right. Yeah. And for this call. For this call. He is the mediator of the New Testament. Oh, he's the mediator. That's right. Oh, it's a God of the New Testament. That by means of death. By means of Death for the redemption of the transgression. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Yeah. What for us to be redeemed? What got to happen first? And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Uh -huh. That by means of death, by means, by means of death, of death, for the redemption of the transgression, for us to be redeemed. That were under the first testament. That was what? That were under the first testament. Hold it. What do you mean? In order for him to get them Jews. From under the first testament. First testament. Because the first covenant was faulty. That's right. First All they did was went through the ritualistic offering of That's lambs right. and bullocks and heifers and turtle doves. But he come along taking the place taking the place of all bread offerings? Yes. For he said, I'm that bread from heaven. That's right. He took the place of the water offering? That's right. Because they pressed him in the side, out came blood and water. Blood and water. He, they took the place, uh, he took the place of the uh, wave, offering. wave offering. He took the place of every Old Testament sacrifice. That's right. And so here comes Jesus, enter into the tabernacle once. Yeah. Once Just once. 
and offer himself once for all, once for all. through the eternal spirit. That's right. Uh -huh. And for this cause, he is the mediator, the of, the mediator New Testament, of the New Testament. That by means of death. By means of death. For the redemption of the transgression. For the redemption of the transgression. That were under the first testament. That was under the first, which is the Old Testament. They which are called might receive the promise. Now, think of it. Of eternal. Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 hear this. <laughs> Christ was in the Old Testament. That's right. And Christ was in the New Testament. In the New Testament. Spirit of Christ That's right. was in the Old Testament. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. The Son of God that had the title Christ was in the New Testament. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. What did he say? 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. All right, and then after that, go back to the test state. I have to enlarge on that. And, and did all drink the same spiritual drink? Did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that they spiritual, drank of that rock, that spiritual that rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Was Christ. Yes, Now come back on, in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 16. All right. For where a testament is. Where the testament is. There must also of necessity be the death of the testator. What else? For a testament is a force. Wait a minute. How in the world would you know how powerful That's right. the scriptures are That's right. without the death of Christ? That's right. You have to know the power of the book. Yeah. Amen. You have to know the power that lies there. That's right. In order for that to happen, Jesus had to die. That's right. Lord, dear God, you know the Muslims said Jesus didn't die. If Jesus didn't die, then the book would have no power. That's, that's right. He had to die. He had to die. You know, some folks sing that song, he didn't have to do it. But he did. What you talking about? Please tell me what exactly are you talking about? What are you talking about? Because according to what I read, everything in that book he had to fulfill. Had to fulfill. And so the Bible said all things must, must be, fulfilled. be fulfilled. And then he itemized that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to do what? Mm. Please tell me. What is it he did not have to do? Have to do. What is it he didn't have to do? Oh, Pastor Jenny, he didn't have to wake me up this morning. No, he got to fulfill his word. That's right. Hmm? The reason why, if your date of existing have not expired, then he got to keep fulfilling his word. That's right. He did not have to do what? Hmm. Oh, he didn't have to do it, but he did. He did not have to do what? Do what? Come on back to the Bible and sing in the spirit. That's and right. sing with understanding. That's right. Huh? That's right. Whatever God did, he had to do it. He had to do it. Or else he'll be found a liar. That's right. Amen. When he predestinated a thing, he ordained it before the foundation of the world. That's right. What? That man live holy. How in the world is he going to ordain for people to live holy if he don't give people the chance to be holy? That's right. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead, brother. So he didn't have to do what? <laughs> but he did. You tell me what is it he didn't have to do. That's right. And make sure when you say what is it he didn't have to do, you got Bible that says what he didn't have to do. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 13. Well, Pastor Dennis, you eat food. He ain't got to feed you. Oh, yes, he do. Yes, he do. I don't know what kind of God you have, but God got to feed me. Got to do it. He said, I never See the saw the forsaken. righteous forsaken. Nor his seed that you pray. No seed. Begging bread. Begging bread. That's right. Huh? Don't tell me what he didn't have to do. That's right. Well, Pastor Jenner, he ain't have to receive you the Holy Ghost. He sent the promise. The He's promise. to you. The God. promise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. The promise. He said the promise. The promise is unto you. He told me to tarry. And to your children. Wait at Jerusalem. Go ahead, man. Until you're being due. Go ahead. With With power, power from the high. high. He said he'd give the Holy Ghost to then those that obey, obey him. him. That's right. And you mean to tell me I'm obedient? I'm tarrying? Amen. Hey, you going to tell me he ain't got to give it to me? That's right. He got to do what he said. That's right. Go Hallelujah. Go ahead. All right. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take off. Go ahead. What did he say, sir? Well, where are testing? Yes! Go Hallelujah, take God. Go ahead. You hear what he said? For where a testament is. Where a testator is. There must also of necessity. Yes, God, there's a necessity. Be the death. Be the death of the testator. So you be slow mm. about singing. He didn't have to do it. Right. But he did. But he did. What you talking about? That's right. Huh? That's right. Before you tell me what he don't have to do. You better put Bible on that statement. That's right. 
Oh, he ain't had to answer your prayer. He said, he that come to God That's right. must believe, believe that he is. That's it. Hallelujah. Every water. To them that diligently seek it. To them that diligently seek it. That's right. I take him at his word. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I take him. Hallelujah. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. I take him at his, at his word. word. That's right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. And he's a God that lives up to his word. That's right. Until he said not one word. Not one word. Fall to the ground. That's right. How are you listening? For where Come the on, testament Simon. is. Where the testament is. There must also of necessity. There's a need. Be the death of the testator. Be the death of the testator. For a testament is a force. Listen at this. For a testament is a force. The testament is a force. Has power. After many. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, man. It has power when? After. Before. After. During. After. After what? Men are dead. After men are dead. So where they go? Amen. Huh? Amen. It has power after men are after. dead. After. After men are dead. After death. Otherwise. Otherwise. It is of no strength at all. I told you. Amen. Otherwise. It is of no strength at all. While the testator lives. Go ahead. Do you hear? Go ahead. Get chapter and verse. Hebrews chapter 9 and at verse 17. It has no strength. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all. It has no strength whatsoever. While, while the testator lives. The testator is still alive. That's right. He had to die. He had to die. Thank God his, his death is what made the Old Testament burst open. Go ahead, man. Huh? Go ahead. Hey, Amen. It is written, thou shalt not leave my soul in hell. And, Neither suffer the Holy One to see corruption. corruption. So his death That's right. gave the testament all strength, strength, all power. For a testament is a force. It's a force. After men are dead. After men are dead. And these blind preachers say Jesus didn't have to die. He was a lie out of hell. That, that's a lie. If he didn't die, there wouldn't be no baptism. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ, where would you get the cleansing power from? That's right. Well, where, where would blood come from? That's right. The blood of heifers and bullocks and turtle doves was no good no more. Neither by the blood of goats. Do you hear this? Down the book of Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 12. Neither by the blood of goats. Neither by the blood of goats and calves. And calves. But by his own blood. Hallelujah to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. But by his own blood, he entered in once into the I told holy you, place. Just once. Once. Just once. He entered in once into the holy place. He entered into once the holy place. Having obtained eternal redemption for us. And the holy place, listen, going into once the holy place, as where it's talking about when he died. That's right. Yeah. Not, not, not talking about when he went into heaven. No, no, no. 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 It's dealing with his death here. That's right. Read the whole verse, son. Hebrews chapter 9 and at verse 12. Again, at verse 11. At verse 11. That's what? But Christ being come a high priest of good things to come. Yes. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle. And? Not made with hands. Hold it. What do you mean a greater and more perfect tabernacle? It's talking about his body. That's right. The tabernacle is talking about his body, his temple. That's right. For the apostles say, if this earthly house of this tabernacle dissolves, we have another. Amen. Eternal. Temple, not made with hands, but eternal. Another building, That's right. not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens. So God's body was God's temple. Yes. God's temple was God's flesh. Yes. God's flesh was God's son. Yes. And God's son was an apostle, prophet, minister that was put to death in the flesh and quickened by the spirit. That's it. And but Christ being come a high priest he became of good things to come. God a high priest of good things to come. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle. Wait a minute. You see? His body was a greater tabernacle greater. than the tabernacle that the priests went into in the days of old. That's right. Because they went in, they had to go in with, with blood of an unspotted uh, uh, lamb. Bless God, but uh, what you mean unspotted? They got blood from a lamb that wasn't lame or wasn't crippled. That's but right. yet that blood still was tainted by the transgression of Adam. That's right. Huh? That's right. But here you had this tabernacle. This tabernacle. His blood was pure. His blood was infallible, oh, yes. and his blood was perfect, and his blood was spotless, and his blood had the power to redeem. That's right. Huh? By a greater and more perfect his tabernacle. His body took the place of the Old Testament tabernacle and the Old Testament sat. Listen, here, think of this now. Here you had that flesh all wrapped up in one was priest, sacrifice, and, and temple. And temple. 
Oh, that's too deep for the carnal mind, Frank. Oh, yes. Hey, but in the Old Testament, you got to get a priest, go into a temple, get a sacrifice. Yes. Jesus comes taking the place of all that. Of all he that. was the temple, he was the priest, and he was the sacrifice. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory oh, to God. But Christ being come at high Christ priest. being come at high of priest. Of good things to come. Of good things to come. To come. come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle. You see, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle. Not made with hands. Not hold it. Not, not made, made with hands. And his, his hands. flesh wasn't made with hands. No. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? It wasn't kind. It didn't come through lust. That's right. There was there was no hands involved. I want to give you a broader revelation on that. That's give me the right. book of Daniel. Give me the book of Daniel. I saw a great mountain. Thank God. And there was a stone. Shoot out the mountain. Shoot out the mountain. Amen. And once you read that, go give me the book of Acts. I want to see the stone who the builders refused become the head of the corner. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? That's right. I want this to be good for you to think that the greater tabernacle was talking about heaven. Oh, no. Oh, no. The key thing that uh, the prophet said or the apostle said, it was not made with hands. Now, in the book of Daniel, here there was a stone. Yeah. There was a great image. Daniel and chapter 2. We got to read fast, son. Daniel chapter 2, we'll start at verse 37. All right. Thou, O king, art a king of kings, for the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom. Come on, son. Power and strength and glory. Yeah. Let's go down to verse 40. All right. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. Uh -huh. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. You see, when a stone was hewed out of the mountain without the hands of a man, it smote the great image. That's right. All right, let's itemize what came out of the mountain now. Daniel chapter 2, we'll start at verse 30 now. Follow me. But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom. Yeah. Yes. I have more than any living. All right. But for their sakes that shall make known the interpretation to the king. What is it? And that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. Yes. Thou, O king, saw us and behold a great image. You saw a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, uh -huh. stood before thee. Uh -huh. And the form thereof was terrible. Yes. The image's head was of fine gold. Yes. His breast and his arms of silver. Then what? His belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron and his feet, part of iron and part of clay. Yes. Thou sawest till that a stone. What? Hallelujah. Yes. You saw a stone. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out. It was cut out? Without hands. Hold it. Come on, King. Now, and go back to the book of Hebrews. Right. And listen at what the Apostle Paul said. Amen. I want this to be good for you to think the tabernacle was talking about going into heaven. No, it yeah, wasn't. No, it wasn't. Listen at this. Hebrews chapter 9. We're back at verse 11. You got to know how to make the Bible harmonize. That's right. Listen at this now. Hebrews chapter 9. We're at verse 11. What did it say? That Christ being come in high priest. Christ being come a high priest. Of good things to come. Of good things to come. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle. Not made with hands. But what? That is to say, not of this building. Amen. Hallelujah. Not of what? Not of this building. Amen. Man had nothing to do with his arrival. That's right. And the book of Daniel says what? Now back in Daniel chapter 2 and at verse 34. What is that? Thou sawest till that a stone, a stone was cut out. Was cut out. Without hands. Without hands. Which smote the image upon his feet. You see that stone that was cut out without hands, meaning that the Son of Man came by the creating power of the Spirit. That's right. It ain't, was, wasn't formed by the involvement of a man laying with Mary. No, this was the same stone that the builders refused, mm -hmm. but he become the head of the, of the corner. So that same stone in the Old Testament, notice when it's cut out, look the effects that it have on Babylon and the kingdoms of the world. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without it was hands. Cut out without hands. Which smoked the image upon his feet. It does what? Smoked the image upon his feet. That lets you know how Jesus came and broke up the foundation of high-mindedness. That's right. And exaltation. Which when you get the feet of a thing, you get the foundation of it. That's right. When you take the legs out, everything got to fall apart. That's right. All right, son. You smoke the image upon his feet uh -huh. that were of iron and clay. Yeah. And break them to pieces. What? And break them to pieces. What did the Bible say? If you fall on the stone, that's right. You shall be broken. Yes. But if it fall on you, and I grind you to powder. That's right. All right, son. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold. What? Broken to pieces together. Broken in pieces together. And became like the chaff, of the, the chaff summer of the summer floor. thrashing floor. And the wind carried them away. And then what? That no place was found for them. And, and the stone that smote the image. The stone that smote the image. Became a great mountain. Wait a minute. Amen. Hear me? Hear this. And the stone. The stone that smote the image became a great mountain. And filled the whole earth. That was fulfilled. That's right. After he died and rose. Yes. And he put on the same glory that the spirit had. 
Mm. You see what I'm talking? That's right. See, the stone was flesh, was flesh. but then it became, it became a, a great mountain. mountain. A stone and a mountain are two different things. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. But a stone come from a mountain. Yes. Showing you that a mountain is greater than a stone. That's right. And notice the Bible said the mountain fulfilled or filled the, filled whole, the whole earth. earth. The mountain did what? Filled the whole earth. So it's not talking about a natural mountain. No way. It's talking about the spirit because the spirit fills the whole earth. That's right. As the stone was cut out of the mountain, That's right. so was the Son of Man came from God. That's he right. said, I come from God. Yes. And I go to I God. go to God. So when he went to God, the stone went back to the way he was That's and right. filled the whole earth. That's right. He put on the same glory. That's right. And when he put on the same glory, now he fills the whole earth. And now, Father. That's why it's the Holy Ghost. That's right. That fills the whole earth. Go ahead. He said, now. And now, Father. Oh, Father. Glorify thou me. Do it. Glorify thou me. Glorify thou with me. With thine own self. Do it yourself. With the glory Do which it I had with your thee. own self. With thine own with self. With the glory. Which I had with thee. When? Before the world was. The type of glory that Jesus had. Before the world was, he was spirit. Spirit. Divine. That's right. He was not human. That's right. And he was nobody's son. That's right. He was nobody's child. That's right. His first nature was divine, and that nature is God. That's it. Are you getting what I'm telling you? And the stone that smoked the Hallelujah. Him. Are you getting this? Hallelujah. Glory to God. The stone. And the stone that smoked the image. Hey, let, let, let's, let's, let's see who the stone is now. That's Give right. me the book of Acts of the Apostles. Book of Acts. This is too deep for many. That, oh, I know they're locking on fighting, but you can fight all you want. Oh, yeah. I'm declaring the stone was the son of God, and the great mountain was the spirit of God. That's why the stone became, became a, the great mountain. The great when mountain. that happened, he put on That's right. the same glory That's right. that he had before the world was. Acts chapter 4, verses 10 and 11. Who the stone is? Be it known unto you all. I want everybody to know this. And to all the people of Israel. That what? That by the name of Jesus Christ the of The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whom ye crucified. Whom you crucified. Whom God raised from the dead. God, the spirit of God raised him from the dead. Even by him. Even by him. Do with this man stand here before Please you Please tell us who the stone is. This is the stone which has set it naught of you builders. Do you hear it? <laughs> Hallelujah. This this is the stone. This is it. Which was set at naught of your the buildings. stone that was set at naught of your buildings. Which has become. Wait a minute. Amen. He did what? Which is become. He became. The head of the corner. Amen. He became the head. He became, which has become the head of the corner. That flesh became a spiritual body. And when he put on the power of the spirit that's right he made that stone the great mountain the great mountain because he put back on the nature that he had before the world before was. the world was this is the stone this is it which was set in order of you build see they know how to read the bible but they can't explain it no that's why they tell you it means what it says preach, it means preach. there's no mystery it means what it said the bible said all scriptures are given by the inspiration of god yes and it's profitable for doctrine that's right. in order to have your doctrine right you got to have the mystery right that's and it. to have the mystery right you got to have the spirit of god to give you the mystery that's right. and give you the power of god and the intelligence of god to define and break down or open up the book of the mystery that's right are you listening we are known unto you all what be it known unto you all. Be it known to everybody. And to all the people of Israel. What is it? That by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh -huh. whom ye crucified, uh -huh. whom God raised from the dead, yes. even by him do with this man stand here before you hold. Wait a minute. Amen. Amen. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. He's talking about Jesus healed, correct? Right. By him. Even by him. What did he do? Do with this man stand here before you hold. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Mm. Jesus healed the man, and the man stood whole. Whole. I mean healed. That's right. Delivered. That's right. All right, Deuteronomy 32, 39 says, See now that I, this is God talking, see now that I, even I, even I, am he, am he, and there is no God with me. What do God say he do? I kill. I kill. And I make a lie. I make a lie. I wound. I wound. And I heal. What? And I heal. And what did the book of Acts of the Apostles say? Back in Acts chapter 4 and at verse 10, be it known what? unto you all. Be it known to everybody. And to all the people of Israel, uh -huh. that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 
by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whom he crucified. Whom you put to death. Whom God raised from the dead. God the Spirit, the Father, raised that body from the dead. Even by him. By him. Do it. This man stand here before you That's how the man is whole. This is the story. And the Apostle Paul let, let them know yeah. that the reason why this man is healed today was by the power of Jesus, which is God, by that's the right. power of God. This is the story. Jesus healed him. That, that's right. That's right. Even by he's him. Preaching, he's preaching Jesus. Be it known unto you all. He said by him. Even by him. The man is the reason that he's standing is because of Jesus. That's right. That's the reason says. that the man is standing is because of God. That's right. Amen. You better not tell me we got two healers. Mm. Huh? That, I crush it to the wall with my See now that I, even I, am he. But there is no God with me. And there is no God with me. And I kill. I, I, I kill. And I make a lie. God talking. I make a lie. I wound. I wound. And I heal. I heal. Neither is Neither there, there any. Neither is any that can deliver you from my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven. All right, let's go back to the fifth chapter book of Revelation, son, because Amen. the clock is ticking. I'm, I'm full. I'm loaded now. <laughs> God Back in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 2. verse 1. Come at on, At verse son. 1. All right. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne. Now, yeah, right hand in the Bible. Don't always take it literal. Right. Right hand mean power. That's right. Right hand mean majesty. In Exodus. And the book of Exodus quickly. Exodus 15, we're at verse 6. Yeah. Thy right hand, O Lord. Oh, look at here. Thy right hand, O Lord. It's become glorious in power. It became, it became glorious. Beca Hold it. Mm -hmm. Became. It's become glorious in power. It become glorious in power. That means he show his power. Mm. His right hand, his authority, his majesty. He show it. That's right. He manifests it. That's right. All right. Thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Yes. Thy right hand, O Lord, yeah. hath dashed in pieces the enemy. I don't mean his right hand is sticking out of the clouds, plucking his enemies everywhere. No. You blind devil deceive things. Right hand mean power. Mean power. Right hand is authority. That's right. Uh-huh. That's why we're in the book of Revelation, uh, he saw, I believe, uh, in the right hand of God. That's right. You know, when the right hand of God came upon the prophets, it came upon the apostles, it was the power of power God that God. came upon them. That's right. When the Bible talks about Jesus standing on the right hand of God, that will mean two beings up there. No. No, right hand mean power, power, right hand mean authority. So Stephen saw Jesus standing right. in the power of the authority of the Spirit but of God. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. Right now, the only way you can understand this and the only way the preachers can explain this, he got to have what? But he being full of the Holy Ghost. That's why your preachers out there so blind and think there's two up there, That's right. three up there, and four up there because they what? But he being full of the Holy Ghost. They don't have the Holy Ghost. That's right. Bible said the things of God no man know but the Spirit of God. Oh, yes. And the Spirit of God is the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Looked up, looked up steadfastly in, steadfast in, in the heaven and saw the glory of God. He's, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. He saw the glory of God or the Spirit of God or the function of God. And Jesus. And Jesus. Standing on the right hand of God. Now I dare you to tell me he, told, he saw two up there because two. according to the Bible, Jesus is Emmanuel. That's right. And the interpretation of Emmanuel is God with, us. God with us. God with us. Now, if that scripture is true, in which it is, mm -hmm. and you say if there's a Jesus standing with God, then that would mean that there's, a, there's Emmanuel standing next to Jehovah. That's right. That's and if mean. Emmanuel is standing next to Jehovah, that would contradict what Jehovah said. That's right. Give me uh, Isaiah chapter 44 and Isaiah verse six. chapter 43 and verse 6. Isaiah and then chapter Isaiah 44. 43 and 8. Yes. And then Isaiah 44, 24. Amen. And then Isaiah 45, 15. Isaiah chapter 44 and we'll write it verse 6. That's what? Thus saith the Lord, the who's, king of... Who's talking? Thus saith the Lord. What is it? The king of Israel. And his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. His Redeemer? And his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. What is it? I am the first. Go ahead. Amen. Hallelujah. What? I am the first. I am the first. And I am the last. Wait a minute. Hold that. That's stop right there. Revelation 1.8. Revelation 1.8. Here we go back to the book of Isaiah. Amen. Amen. You folks writing me telling me I preached it. Yes, I preached Jesus Christ as God. <laughs> That's right. Almighty God. That's right. God says he's the first and he's the last. And the and last. we don't have two. That's, That's right. the first and the last. That's right. And Jesus said he's the first and the last. That, that's right. And listen at this. Revelation chapter 1 and we're at verse 8. Begin at verse 7. At verse 7. I want to establish who is it talking about. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. That's what? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. I, I got to establish who is he talking about now. Mm. 
What did he say? Behold, he cometh with clouds. And what? And every eye shall see him. And what? And they also which pierced him. All it. That's talking about Jesus. Jesus. They also which did what? And they also which pierced him. In the book him. of Zechariah, Jesus spoke to the prophet and said, They shall look upon me. Whom they have pierced. Whom they have pierced. That's right. Now it's talking about Jesus coming. That's right. Uh -huh. And they also which pierced him. They which pierced him. And all kindreds of the all earth the shall well because of him. Shall well because of him. Even so, amen. What did Jesus say? I am Alpha. I am Alpha and Omega. And Omega. The beginning. The beginning. And the ending. And the ending. Saith the Lord. Saith who? Saith the Lord. Saith who? Saith the Lord. What else did the Lord say? Which is. Which is. And which was. Which was. And which is to come. Which is to come. The Almighty. Jesus said he's the first and the last. That's right. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. What? Saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Which is. Which is. And which was. And what? And which is to come. And which is to come. The Almighty. Did you hear that? That's right. He's the first. That's right. And the last. That's right. All right, go back to the book of Daniel real quick. Back in Isaiah chapter 4. Read fast. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. Yes. I am the first, and I am the last. That's me. I'm Alpha mm. and Omega. And beside me, I'm the first and the last. I am Alpha and Omega. And the Omega. first of a thing is the beginning of a thing. That's the right. The last of a thing is the ending of a thing. That's right. I'm Alpha, Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And Jesus is all that. That's right. That's right. I'm he which is. And which was. Hold it. What you mean I, I'm is? I'm God. God. What else? And which was. Hold it. Let's see what he became that took on the title was. Mm -hmm. Mark. Mark 15, chapter 15. 39. 39. Mark chapter 15. At, at verse 39. At verse 39. Let's get Jesus' title when he took on the title was. And when the centurion which stood over against him yes. saw so that he cried out yes. and gave up the ghost, uh -huh. he said, truly this man was the son of God. That's when he took on the title was. Was. Is father. Which was. Was. Son, when he was here walking the earth, he was flesh and blood. That's right. And he was a son. He was the son of Mary. He was the son of God, flesh and blood walking the earth. But then the same title that's in the beginning now is at the end. And yeah. which is to come. Who is it? The Almighty. Now, is in the beginning, is at the end. Yeah. Spirit in the beginning. Spirit at the end. That's right. Was in the middle because was mean the mediator. Mm. And the mediator was between God and man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, Pastor. That's what you blind fellas don't see. No, they can't see that. You see, was is in the middle of is. They can't see that. Was, is. Is in the beginning, is at the end because is is the first and is is the last. That's right. Mm. Don't you know is created was. That's right. You can't have was without the existing of is. That's right. Go ahead. So when is was manifested in the flesh and the flesh died, then the flesh took on title was. Was. And then the is got in the body of flesh and bones that was dead. That's right. And then when that which was dead was quickened by the spirit, it stood up in the power of is. That's right. Are oh, you getting me? Preach it, brother. I am Alpha. I am Alpha. And Omega. Glory to God. <laughs> And Omega. The beginning. The beginning. And the ending. Who's talking? Saith the Lord. Who's talking? Saith the Lord. Let's get the Lord's name. Acts, Acts chapter 9, 9 and verse 5. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, Who is it? I am Jesus. Give me uh, Psalms 100 and verse Psalm. 3. Know ye that the Lord. Oh, look at all this Bible here. <laughs> Amen. Know ye that the Lord. Somebody posted when they heard me say, Jesus Christ is God. They posted and said, Pastor Jennings, Jesus Christ is not God the Father. But yet he's God. Tell me how many gods it is, you blind bat. How many gods is it? There's only one heavenly father. That's right. Give me Malachi. Malachi chapter 2, chapter and, verse two and verse 10. Amen. Malachi 2, 10. Malachi. I preach when you, when you say Jesus Christ is not the father, you're saying he's not God. That's right. Jesus is the everlasting father. That's right. And prince of peace. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 10. That's what? Have we not all one wait, father? Wait, 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 wait. Mm. How many have one father? Have we not all? One father. Now, 
Oh, so Pastor Dennis, that's right. We got one Father and one Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that. Yeah. That means one Father and one mediator. One mediator. <laughs> That's yeah. it. That's one it. father, one mediator. That's right. That's all that is. That's all that is. And the language of the Bible don't confuse us. That's right. But this knowledge that I'm teaching is not in every man. I want to certify that with the eighth chapter, eighth chapter of, the book of First, first Corinthians. Corinthians. Stay where you are yes. and just get your fingers and just hold the eighth chapter of First Corinthians for me. Then go back to the fifth chapter of the book of Revelation so I can park my car and go home. No! First Corinthians. All right, come eight. on, Williams. First Corinthians chapter eight. We'll start at verse five. All right. For though there be that are called gods. Yes. Amen. There are those that are called G-O-D-S. G-O-D-S. Uh -huh. Whether in heaven. Whether, oh, wait, 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 wait. They're called that. Called gods. Not that they are that. No. They call them that. For though there be that are called gods, uh -huh. whether in heaven. Whether in heaven. Or in earth. Or in earth. As there be gods many. There be gods many. And lords many. Lords many. But to us. Huh. But to us. Oh, that's not the God's people. That's right. But only, to us. Only to God's people. There is but one God. How many? There is but one God. To us. But to us. There's only but one God. The Father. There's only one God. But to us there is but one God, the Father. The Father. Of whom are all things. Of whom are all things. And we in him. That means everything came by him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. And we are in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. And me conjunction. Conjunction of what? Uh, of what? Please tell me there's please tell me <laughs> that this right. is another God. Come tell me that. that that's right. I'll be in St. Louis, Missouri this weekend. Yes. Amen. I'll be in St. Louis, Missouri this weekend. God be my helper. You Trinitarians and multi-God believers. You come on here. That's right. Church of God in Christ. You got churches down there that preach this Trinity trash Go that ahead. come out of hell. The word Trinity ain't never been in the Bible. That's right. You Jehovah Witness that teach there's two up there. Two up come there. come bring them to me. Amen. You come and bring all two of them. That's right. But I'm done with you only one going rule supreme here. But to us, to us, there is but one God. You see, only God's people know it's one. That's right. Uh -huh. But to us, there is but one God. There's one God. The Father. He's the Father. Of whom are all things. Everything was created by him. And we in him. And we are in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. And one Lord Jesus Christ. By whom are all things. By whom are all things. And we by him. You hear that? That's right. What did it say about the Father? For there is... What did it say about the Father? But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things. All things come from the Father. And we in him. And, and, and he put us in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. And one Lord Jesus Christ. By whom are all things. By whom are all things. And we by him. We by him. What you mean by him? That's it. See, the language of the Bible, of him, by him. By him. <laughs> Amen. That's, that's too deep for the kernel mind. That's right. Of him. Of him. By him. That's right. Of him means the spirit is responsible. That's it. By him, things are done by him because the spirit worked in him. That's right. For he said, I do nothing of myself. Myself. But my father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. He doeth the works. Are you kidding me? But to us, there is but one God. That's why I, you often hear me use the term, this is the church by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. It came from him. Through him. Through him. You see, we are by him because we came through him. That's he right. said, no man come to the Father except by, by me. By me. By we me. are by him. That's right. Get the language of the Bible. But to us there is but so one God. God. To us there is one God. But to us there is but one God, the Father. The Father. Of whom are all things. Of whom are everything. And we in him. We are in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. One Lord Jesus Christ. By whom are all things. By whom are all things. And we by him. And we by him. How be it. Hold on. Yeah, 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 now. How be it. How be it. There is not there in, is every, not in man every man that knowledge. Man, every man don't know that. That's right. Now, every man, a lot of these men in the pulpit, they don't know nothing man. about it. That's right. That's why they got two guards in heaven, three guards in heaven, four guards in heaven. And don't marvel when a man tell you Jesus Christ is not God and tell you that Jesus Christ is next to God. That's old. That's an old lie. That's that's old that lie, lie was preached before I was born. That's right. I'm pretty sure many old Thomas, that's old enough to be my grandmother, have heard that lie when they was a child. Oh, yeah. Because the Jehovah Witnesses believe that Jehovah is on one side and there's a little Jesus there's next little to him. Jesus. That two God religion. That's right. That religious lie came so deep out of hell, we're shooting it to pieces, and they're, they're gonna fall right back no! quicker than a meteorite come to earth. But to us there is but one God, yes, the, Father, the Father, of whom are all things. And what? And we in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. And by whom are all things. Don't tell me that's the second one. No. I make you tell me a second what? Mm -hmm. That's right. I dare you to tell me that's the second one. 
That's I right. make you tell me a second what? Because I preach there's one alone. That's right. And there's not a second. There's not a second. You better give me the Re book of Ecclesiastes. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, and at verse 8. Hear this! There is no man that has power over the Spirit there's to retain no the Spirit. There's no man that has power over the Spirit to retain the Spirit. Neither hath he power in the day yes. of death. Yes. And there is no discharge in that. Yes. Day. That's not, show. that's not what I want. No, 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 no that's no. not what I want. That's not it. No, that's not it at all. Uh, give me about the fourth verse. And if you can't find it, just move quick and go to the fifth chapter of Revelation and keep it in your head and find it later. Amen. Because I'm on the clock. All right. Amen. There's one alone and there's not a second. It's not a second. All right, get this. Back in Revelation chapter 5 and at verse 1. Yes. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side, uh -huh. sealed with seven seals. Yes. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Uh -huh. Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? Who is worthy to open the book and take it apart and loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven. No, hey, hey, wait a minute. Someone said, Pastor Jenner, you said ain't no man in heaven. That's right, it is and it isn't. It is and it isn't. It can't be both, Pastor Jenner. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Listen, I declare no man is in heaven. And I got a Bible that says so. It says no man has nope. to set it up in the heaven at any time, but he that came down. That's right. Amen. I got a Bible that says flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. And then I can give you a Bible where man is in heaven. He's in heaven. In fact, Daniel said even the man Gabriel, the man Gabriel flew unto me swiftly. That's right. So when the Bible says what there? And no man in heaven. Now, you know, the angels are called men because they bear the shape of the man on earth. That's right. Yes, yeah, well, what is it? In the book of Daniel chapter 9. Come on, son. And we're at verse... 21. You got to read quick. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 21. Yes. Yes, while I was speaking in prayer. While I was praying. Even the man, Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning. You see, Pastor Jenner, that's telling you Gabriel is flesh and blood. No, it's not. Let me show you. The, hold it. Hold it. Hold it right there. What is he called? Yes, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man. Hold it. Let's see what Gabriel was. Give me the first chapter of the book of Luke, and then give me the first chapter of the book of Hebrews. Right. Let's see when Gabriel came to get uh, to Mary. Right. Listen at this now. In the book of St. Luke, chapter, chapter 1. Begin at, uh, and we'll start at verse 26. About verse 26, you got to move fast. St. Luke. Somebody's coming to my mind now. St. Luke son. 1 and verse 26. All right. And in the sixth month, the angel gave. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what was it? What was it? And in the sixth month, the, the angel. What was it? The angel. What was his name? Gabriel. Go back to the book of Daniel. Back in Daniel 9 and verse 21. What did he say? Days while, while I was speaking in prayer. Yes. Even the man, Gabriel. But yet Luke called him what? Even the angel. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel. Now, I'm going to show you that he wasn't flesh. Give me the first chapter of the book of Hebrews. First chapter of the book of Let's Hebrews. see how he made his angels. That's right. This is what I mean by harmonizing the Bible. That's it. Thank God we put that stuff together by the Spirit like Lego blocks. That's right. Huh? That's right. Look how he made his spirit. Here you got Gabriel, which is an angel, mm -hmm. and he's not flesh and blood. Right. Yet he's called a man because the shape, form, fashion, and figure is the same shape, form, fashion, and figure of the man Adam. That's right. All right? Now in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 7. What is it? And of the angels, he says. Which are the, of the angels, he says. Who maketh his angels spirits. Wait a minute. What nature does the angel? Have? Who maketh his angels spirits? Yes. What nature the angels have? Who maketh his angels spirits? Now that nature Jesus God had already. God already had. And in the book of Hebrews, it, it's so much coming to my mind. He says he didn't take on the nature of angels, of angels. but he took on the seed of Abraham. Now in the book of Hebrews, chapter two and verse sixteen. Listen at this. For verily he took not on him. What? 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 For verily he took not Surely on him. He took not on him. That the nature of angels. Hold it. The reason why he didn't take the natures of angels on, because he had it already. That's right. The natures of angels is spirit. The Bible said God is the spirit. That's right. In order to save us and redeem us, he didn't take on spirit. That's right. He already was a spirit. Yeah. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. The nature that he was in the beginning is eternal, which is spirit. That was the nature that keeps us. That's right. For the Bible said you're kept by the power of God. That's right. And then what? But he took on him the seed of Abraham. Why? Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brother. To be how? To be made like unto his brother. I was talking about the son of man. That's right. Son of man was made. made. Spirit of God was not made. But we see Jesus. We see who? But we see Jesus. What? Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9. We see Jesus. Who was made. Yeah. They Amen. ain't talking about no spirit. No. Talking about the son of God, flesh and blood, human being, body. But we see Jesus. He was made. Who was made a little lower than the angels. Amen. So a man wrote me and brought me the scripture trying to debunk Jesus Christ as being God. And uh, he said, 
God fulfills everything. Well, preacher, I agree. Give me Colossians, if yeah, I'm correct, Colossians chapter, chapter 2 and verse 9. I'm yes. so glad you said that, preacher. Amen. God fulfills everything. Yes. You didn't know it, but you was planting the rope and putting it around your own neck, and now I'm on the other end so I can hang you between Old Testament and New. Colossians you, chapter you're 2. You're so right. God fulfilled all things. All things. Now here comes Jesus. Colossians chapter 2 and we're at verse 9. That's what? For in him. Here, here, here. You better get up verse 8, son. At verse 8. What is, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy, man spoil you in, vain to philosophy see. in vain after the, the, after the rudiments the, of the after the tradition, the of, tradition of men, the after the of the world, of the world, and not after Christ. Not after who? Not after Christ. What is it? For in Him. Wait a minute. Man mm -hmm. went back talking about Christ. That's right. For in Christ dwelleth all the fullness, all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Everything that have to do with God in Him is in Jesus. In Him yes. dwelleth all the fullness. One King, Jesus. That's right. Alpha and Omega, Jesus. Yes. Beginning and the end, Jesus. Yes. The rock, Jesus. Jesus. The stone, Jesus. Jesus. The great mountain, Jesus. That's right. In him. The tree of life, Jesus. That's right. Brother Sharon, Jesus. Yes. I'm the true vine, Jesus. Right. My father's the husband man, Jesus. Jesus. Creator of heaven and earth, Jesus. Yes. In him. He's going to present to himself a glorious church, Jesus. Jesus. For in him, in him, dwelleth all the food, all of it, of the Godhead bodily. All the Godhead all. Bodily. bodily. Do you know what that means? Mm. That means the entire Godhead is embodied mm. in one. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That's, That's what that right. means. That's right. You see, you false prophets overlook the word Godhead bodily. Bodily. Huh? For in him. You know, now, somebody said, well, I don't believe it mean all. When someone said, look at the heavenly body. Yeah. The bodily of heaven. Right. They talk about all. Oh. 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 All the fullness. The fullness. Of the Godhead. Anything that got to do with the Godhead is in, in body. In, in him. In Jesus. In him. Why do you think Jesus can say, oh, I'm Alpha. That's right. I'm Omega. I'm, I'm the beginning. Right. I'm the end. Oh, I'm the first. That's right. I am the last. I'm the last. I am he that liveth and was the, oh, I am the resurrection. That's right. In him. I am the stone that the builder refused. That's right. In Who him. art thou, Lord? Well, I'm Jesus. That's right. For in him, the whole God had Bodily dwelleth all is the all in body in him in Jesus. That's right. That's why when I, when all heaven was wrapped up in that flesh, yeah. it was embodied in that flesh. Yes. yes. Satan said, "Oh, I know who thou art." Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. He knew who Jesus was. He knew who he was. But he make his preachers not know who he is. That's right. He said, oh, I know who thou art. That's right. Thou art the Holy One of God. The one of God. In he, him. It's all in him. For in him dwelleth all the fullness. All the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Of the Godhead bodily. bodily. And what else? Now at verse 10. Uh -huh. And ye are complete in him. Don't tell me you're not. Now, nah, nah, if Jesus Christ is not God, please tell me, are you complete in God or are you complete in Jesus? Or are you complete in two? That's right. And ye are complete in him. In them. In him. In them. In him. You blind devil deceived serpents out there. That's yeah. right. That's right. You're a deceiver of the devil led by the devil. Not even, de not even the devil believe in them. That's right. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. I said the devil himself, your father, your daddy. Yeah. He don't believe in them. No. He believe in him. In him. Now, I'm going to tell you, if I believe in him, the Bible commends me and says, I'm doing well. Give me the book of James. Yes. James, quickly now. Amen. If thou believest there's one God, you do well. Yep. The devils also believe. In the book of St. James, chapter 2. Read fast, William. I read verse 19. That's what? Thou believest that there is one God. What? Thou doest well. I'm all right. 
Amen. That's right. We take the Godhead bodily everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Thou do as well. I'm doing, hallelujah. I'm doing all right. Thou believe us that there we is one God. We take the Godhead bodily to Europe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's right. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead and take it to uh, St. Louis. Yeah. And a week after that, we're going to take it to Jamaica. Yeah. And a week after that, we take it to Trinidad. Yeah. And a week after that, we take it to the Bahamas. That's right. And a week after that, we come back home. And a week after that, we go to Ohio. And a week after that, we go to Johannesburg. And a week after that, we go to New Zealand. And a week after that, we go to Australia. And a week after that, we come right back home again. Thou do us well. Oh, we're doing well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thou believe us. You do well. If there is one God, thou do us well. The devils what? The devils also believe. The devil do what? The devils also believe. No, the devil deny it. The devils also believe. Deny it. The devils also believe and tremble. You believe in more than one. You don't even shake. You don't even sneeze. That's right. Go back to the fifth chapter of the book of Revelation so I can knock off quickly, son. Back in Revelation chapter 5. Begin at verse 1. And we're still... And right, verse 1. You got to move fast. And right? I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne. I saw in the, with the, uh, the, in the authority of him. Go ahead. That in sat the on right the throne. hand of him. And the power of him that sat on the throne. Written within and on the backside. Yes. Sealed with seven seals. Eh? And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Who is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to get yeah. this book open? And to loose the seals thereof. Be quick. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, yes. was able to open the book, neither to look thereof. You see, no man in heaven, that means no angels up there. Right. No man in the earth, well, there ain't no man that was natural or down here in the human family, they couldn't do it. Neither under no, the earth. Yeah, no man under the earth, that means no one in the grave. Mm, that's right. Uh -huh. Was able to open the yeah, book. And all three, all three categories, no man in heaven, that means no angels. No man on earth, no member of the human family. No man under the earth, nobody in the grave. It wasn't nobody to do it. That's right. Uh -huh. Was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Yeah. And I wept much. Oh, I cried about it. Because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. Then what happened? Neither to look thereon. Uh -huh. And one of the elders. One of the elders. Saith unto me, weep not. Don't you cry, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed and done what? Hath prevailed to open the book. And to loose the seven seals. Notice the language of the Bible. This is what I mean. I, I told you before, Revelation is a book of past, present, and future. What John was looking at already happened. That's right. Because he walked with Jesus, talked with Jesus. Yes. Now listen at this. And one of the elders saith unto me, weep not. Right. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. What? The lion of the tribe of Judah. What did he say? The line of the tribe of 49th Judah. Chapter of the book of Genesis. 49th chapter of the book of Genesis. Jacob was dying and called his sons together. He evaluated Reuben and Issachar and Levi and Dan and Nephtali and Ephraim. And, That's and, right. And, and all, all, he got all of them together. That's yeah. right. But he saw Judah that he didn't see something. He didn't see none of them. Genesis he said, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren go and praise. Thy, thy hand, hand shall, shall be in the, the neck of thine enemy. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a Judah lion's whip. Judah is a lion's whip. A lion's whip. A lion's whip. From the prey, my son. You're going up. He stooped down. Down as a lion yeah. and as an old lion. The scepter, meaning the authority, should not depart from Judah. Hold it right there. What is a scepter? A scepter is a staff. Yeah. A staff is a rod. The Bible says, had not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David, out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So he was that rod that come out of the stem of Jesse and a branch that grew out of his roots, and the spirit of the Lord rest upon him. That's right. And a spirit of counsel and might and That's the right. fear of the Lord. That's right. Listen at this. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Their power, their authority shall not depart from Judah. Shall not leave Judah. Nor Lord give it from between his feet. Nor Lord give it from between his feet unto who? Until Shiloh comes. That wasn't the starting of a Shiloh church either. <laughs> no. Until Shiloh come and talk about hallelujah. Until Jesus come. That's right. And unto who? And unto him. Who? Unto him. How many are the people to gather to? Shall the gathering of the people be? They shall gather to who? Unto him shall the gathering of the Everything people be. Everything points to one. Yeah. That's right. Everything points to one. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. What are you going to do, son? Binding his foe. Oh, wait, wait. Binding, binding his fold. When you, when, when, he, when he was binding his fold, he fold his followers. That's right. Binding mean bringing them close to him. That's yeah. right. Huh? Binding yeah. his fold. Binding his fold. Other sheep that I had that is not of this fold. That's right. So he he, he's, he came and bind his fold. He brought them close to him. That's yeah. right. Uh -huh. Binding his fold to what? Unto the vine. To what? Unto the vine. I am. The true vine. The true vine. And my father is the husband man. The husband you man. see, he binds the people to the vine because the vine will grow on you. Mm. Jesus' words grew on them. Go ahead. They man. had to wrap themselves up in the teachings of Jesus. That's right. Uh -huh. Binding his foe unto the vine. And what? And his ass is cold. Hold it. 
His ass is what? And his ass is cold. To what? Unto the choice vine. Don't you remember when the prophecy was fulfilled, when Jesus rode on an ass? Yes. He had to fulfill prophecy. He told him, yeah. tell, tell, tell that man, let, me, let us borrow his ass. That's right. That young coat so he can ride upon him. That's right. Uh -huh. Bonnie is full unto the vine. And his ass is cold. Unto the choice vine. Oh, he was a choice vine. Choice yeah. vine. That means he was chosen. That's right. Predestinated before the foundation of the world. Who was the son of man to come? That's right. Uh -huh. He washed his garments in wine. And his clothes. In the blood of grace. His clothes, he was washed in the blood of wine is when he was pierced in the side. Pierced in the side. Out came blood. And water. When they pissed him in the side, out came blood and water. That's when it was fulfilled. What happened he there? He washed his garments in wine. Because the wine or the blood of the grapes dyed his garment, dyed okay. his vexure. That's right. That's why it is written, he was clothed with a vexture, dipped in blood, and yeah. written upon him was the word of God. That's right. Uh -huh. He washed his garments in wine. And his clothes. In the blood of grapes. In the blood of grapes. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. And his teeth. And his teeth. White with milk. Wisdom going to come out. That's right. As newborn babe desired to send him milk of the word, his teeth white, white with, milk. with milk. That don't mean he had a good smile. No. That, no, that don't mean that. No. You see, milk mean wisdom. wisdom. And notice that the wisdom wasn't, the milk wasn't seen on his tongue. Mm. It was on his teeth. On his teeth. Tongue is used to taste. Teeth is used to break down. That's right. They take the wisdom of God to break down the milk of God. Mm. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, take God. They oh, take God. the wisdom of God to break down. You know, when you eat food, you break it down with your teeth. That's right. And where was the milk at? His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth. And his teeth. White with milk. Oh, yes. He come along and uh, breaks down. That's why he come along and revealed the thing to the prophets and the apostles. Yeah. And they broke it down and made it plain. Yeah. Yes, they did. And, all right, go back to the fifth chapter of the book of Revelation, son, because I thought I'd be finished by now, but... My father have not left me alone. Back in Revelation you chapter on, 5 William. and verse 5. What did he say? And one of the elders says unto me, we One not. of the elders. Now, one of the elders. Around the throne were 24 seats, which set 24 elders, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their head crowns of gold. The reason why it was 24 elders, 12 plus 12 is 24. In the Old Testament, you had 12 tribes of Israel. When Jesus came here, he chose 12 men and made them 12 apostles. Old Testament, 12 tribes of Israel. New Testament, 12 apostles. 12 plus 12. 12 is 24. That's why you have 24 elders around the throne the because they represent the Old Testament and the New Testament. They represent the prophets of old. They represent the apostles of the new. That's right. All right. And one of the elders says unto me, weep not. Don't you cry. They hold the lion of the tribe of Judah. What? The root of David. When did it take place? Hath, 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 hath prevailed. It already happened. Hath prevailed. It already happened already. Hath prevailed and to open the book. Yeah. And to loose the seven seals thereof. Oh, yes. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the in throne. In the midst of the throne. And of the four beasts. What happened? And in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. It stood a lamb. As it had been slain. I dare you, I dare you to tell me a dead Jesus is in heaven. That's right. That's right. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst what of the throne. What he saw already took place on, on earth. earth. That's right. That's right. They saw the lamb slain. That's right. It is written how they granted him a murderer. murderer. It is written they had killed the prince of life, prince of and life. that death took place right here right on here. earth. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. They wasn't looking at the death all over again. No. Hey Amen. A reenactment of it. No, they saw the past. That's it. They saw the past. They saw which was. That's right. Huh? That's right. See, is, was, and is not only talking about God or the Son of God, it's also talking about events. Events. What do you mean? I'm the same yesterday. Yesterday is a was. Right. That's right. That's right. And today is. Is. And forevermore is to come. Preach it, man. Are you getting me? Preach it. I'm the same yesterday. Was. And today. Today. Is. And forevermore is to come. That's right. He still is, was, and is. Do you see the language of the Bible? And I beheld and lo in the midst of the throne. How it all falls in place like a bit of a puzzle. That's right. Do you hear? And I beheld and lo in the midst of the throne. In the midst of the throne. And of the four beasts. Of the four beasts. And in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain. Stood a lamb. It stood a lamb. Stood a lamb. But how did it look? As it had been slain. It looked like it was dead. That's right. Mm -hmm. Having seven horns and seven eyes. And? Which are the seven spirits of God. Yes. Sent forth into all the earth. Uh -huh. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Same thing I believe Daniel saw. Yeah. How the Messiah yeah. came to the ancient of days. That's right. Huh? That's right. And, see, and you blind folk thought... <laughs> That it was two up in heaven. 
little Jesus going to God, taking something from him. See, you, you, you didn't understand the divine hieroglyphics of what it represent of the Messiah taking from God. You, you, you just couldn't say, was that you, Nate? <laughs> you, you, you couldn't get it. You see, John saw the same thing that Daniel saw. Daniel saw. And Daniel, addressed as the Messiah, came to the Ancient of Days. Ancient of days. And listen at this. Now the book of Daniel chapter 9. You got to move quick, Williams. Daniel chapter 9, and we'll start at verse 24. Read fast. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city. Yes. To finish the transgression and to make an end of sins. Daniel yes. verse 25. All right. Know therefore and understand. I want you to know. And understand. I want you to understand. I don't, I don't want you to just read. That's right. right. That's what you people do. That's right. You just read and then say, it mean what it said. No mystery there. That's what they say. Huh? That's what they, they say. They mean what it said. No mystery there. Yuppity doo die. <laughs> Yuppity doo die. You're just as blind as a, <laughs> you're right. just as blind as a brick can fix grits. That's right. What? Do you hear the old troublemaker? Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. I want to balance this out with Revelation also. We're going back again. Right. Amen. I thank God for this. Yes. I have to say like Jesus, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Thou have hid these things from the wise and the prudent, have revealed them unto the babe, so it seemed good in, our, in, in his sight. Yes, Listen at this in the book of Daniel, viewers. I want this to be good for you, viewers, who your preacher try to make Jesus separate from God and try to make Jesus the second person in the Godhead and make the Holy Ghost the little third member of the Godhead family. A family. That's what they say. Hear the old man now. Hear Daniel, me good. Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. Listen at this. Know therefore and understand. I want you to know and understand. That from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem. Yes. Unto the Messiah, the prince. Unto the Messiah. The prince. The prince. That's Jesus. That's right. Uh -huh. Shall be seven weeks. And shall be. Shall be seven weeks. I let you know he wasn't born yet. Mm. What he saw wasn't born yet. That's right. To be fulfilled. That's right. Shall be me, it will happen. Shall be seven weeks. But God gave him a present vision of a future event. Yeah. And then when it got to Daniel, John had a present vision of a past event. That's right. Glory be to God. Do you hear? Do you hear? Listen at this. Know therefore and understand eh? that from the going forth of the commandment from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build to Jerusalem and unto, rebuild the Messiah, Jerusalem the unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks. Shall be seven weeks. And three score and two weeks. Yes. The street shall be built again and the wall even in troublous times. Eh? And after three score and two weeks what happened? shall Messiah be cut off. Shall Messiah be cut off. But not for himself. Yes. And the people of the Prince that shall come shall destroy the city eh? and the sanctuary. Yes. And the end thereof shall be That's what I want. Daniel chapter 7, and we'll start at verse 13. Read fast. And I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like unto the Son of Man. Yeah. Amen. I saw one that looked like who? One like unto the Son of Man. Now, that was not Jesus, flesh and blood, human body. No. I dare you to tell me it was because Mary wasn't existing then. That's right. That's right. Mary wasn't existing then. No. I believe the Bible called Mary a young version. Young. Mm -hmm. If she was in the Old Testament and then live all to the new, she'd be an old version. Would have been old. A small detail like that that they overlook. That's right. A young version. That's right. Not an old one. Not an old one. Listen, good. Daniel chapter seven. We'll start at verse thirteen. Parliament. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like unto the Son of Man. Yes. Came with the clouds of heaven. Came with the clouds of heaven. And came to the Ancient of Days. Corey. Came to the Ancient of Days. And they brought him near before him. They brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and, and a kingdom. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. And there was given him dominion. There was doing what? And there was given him Dominion. Yes. And glory. Yes. And a kingdom. Yes. That all people, nations, and language should serve him. Yes. Dominion, his dominion is an everlasting dominion. Yes. Which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. You wait a minute. It was given to him? And there was given him dominion. Hold it! Mm. Pass. Jesus Matthew, rule! Matthew chapter 28. What did he say? Matthew chapter 28. 
and we'll start at verse All power. All power is given unto me. That's when that was fulfilled. That's right. It was given to me. In heaven. In heaven. And in earth. All right, let me ask you a question, viewers. Let me ask you this question. Do God have all power? I'm talking to the dumb folk. <laughs> Not you. You blind devil to see more than one God out there. Just write me back or comment in the corner because you know you, I'm pretty sure you're blasting up YouTube now, heathens. That's right. You're a bunch of internet heathens. That's right. You have an internet intellect which shows that is mighty low. Mighty low. Heathen? Tell me, do God have all power? All power. He do? You agree he got all power? Okay, that's good. That's good. Jesus said all power is given to him. All power is given unto me. Hold it. He said all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth. So if he got all power, what, what, what do God have now? That's right. Tell me. Because Jesus said all power. All power is given, is unto, given me unto me in heaven, in heaven and in earth. Where? In heaven. I got all the power of heaven. And in earth. And in earth. And in earth. So if he got all of it and God is the almighty. And if he's not God, then please tell me, what power do God have now? That's right. Because according to the Bible, he gave it all to Jesus. All power is given unto me. How much of it? All power is given unto me. How much of it? All power is given unto me. Then tell me, you internet hellions. If he's not God, if he's not God. what power do God have? That's right. What power do God have left? That's it. What power do God have left then? That's right. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Jesus said he got all of it. All Jesus of it. said he got all the power that God had. Oh, God power. gave Jesus all his power. All power. That's what it says. So what do God, so what do God have? And before Jesus rose, you know what Jesus said? All things. That's right. The Father has are mine. Are mine. Are mine. Why you think he thought it not robbery to be equal with God? With God. No man think it's robbery to be equal with himself. That's, that's it. That's he was it. God. That's it. Almighty God manifested in the flesh. And Jesus came and spake unto them. So when the Bible talk about how the Messiah came to the ancient of days, go back to the book of Revelation. Back in Revelation chapter... Did you finish up Daniel? No. I'm All right, you're going to finish up Daniel. Let me detail it and strip it bare, and then go back to Revelation. Move that, fast, William. Daniel chapter 7. I'm going to start at verse 9. All right, come on. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The thrones was cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days. Did sit. Did sit. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garments was white as snow. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Yeah. His throne was like the fiery flame. Yeah. And his wheels as burning fire. Yeah. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. And then what? A thousand thousands ministered unto him. That means that, oh, that don't mean that he had a bunch of preachers up there. That's right. Ministered unto him simply mean thousands of thousands. They served him. That's it. You know, they gave God service. That's right. Like you folk that believe in women preachers in the Bible talk about the woman at the well, how she ministered to Jesus and you're dumb enough to think that means she preached to him. How in the world are you going to preach to someone that know everything? The <laughs> Bible says Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. All, all things. she did was gave him service. That's it. All right, go back. Come on, son. Uh, a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Yes. Thousands, thousands ministered unto him. And, and 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. Yes. The judgment was set and the books were opened. Yes. And I saw in the night visions and behold one like unto the Son of Man. One like unto the Son of Man came, because he, yeah, because when the Son of Man would have come, the prophet wouldn't be alive. That's true. No, when the Son of Man would walk earth, this prophet wouldn't be living here. That's right. Oh, no, not at all. No. Son of Man would come perhaps thousands of years later oh, yes. in the flesh. In the flesh. Uh -huh. I saw in the night visions, and behold, But it showed what was coming. Right. Mm -hmm. I saw in the night visions. In the night visions. And behold, one like unto the Son of Man. One like the Son of Man. Came with the clouds of heaven. Came with the clouds of heaven. And came to the ancient of he days. He came to God. And they brought him near before him. And they. They. They brought him near they, before him. I don't mean the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost all ganged up. They brought him near before him that they would be the angels of heaven. That's right. Because they are messengers of God. That's right. Uh -huh. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom. 
that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. Yes. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. His dominion, his power, his authority is everlasting. Which shall not pass away. It won't pass away. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Yes. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body. And? And the visions of my head troubled me. And? I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. Yes. So he told me and made me know the interpretations of the thing. All right. These, that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, give me go back to the book of Revelation. Back in now. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 5. Let's look at this. We're working on when the Messiah came to the Ancient of Days. Ancient we're going to crush the two God theory, the three God theory, the five God theory, that's and right. we're going to give you the interpretation of it. That's right. And make it plain. That's it. Uh -huh. Back in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 5. Oh, yes. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Why? Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Hath prevailed, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Yes. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts. What happened? And in the midst of the elders stood a there lamb. There stood a lamb. And, and it had been it slain. It had been slain. Having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God. Sent now, forth in the into Old the Testament, earth. when the Son of Man was saw standing before the Ancient of Days, and came with clouds, that lets you know that the promise of the Ancient of Days will be fulfilled, and the arrival of the Son of Man, or the word of the Son of Man that brings the Son of Man to existence, will come from heaven. That's why he saw coming in the clouds. Don't you hear him say, I come from God? I come from God. But how did he come from God? I came from God through promise. That's right. That's why in the book of Daniel, he seen coming through the clouds. What you mean? Daniel saw the fulfillment of the promise arriving. It's coming through clouds. Through letting clouds. you know that the word of God come from heaven, speaking about him coming. On us, child is born. On us, son is given. That's right. Government shall be upon his shoulder. Name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. What do you see him? Coming in clouds. Now in the book of what the you mean? The prophecy is, being, is coming to pass. That's right. Slowly but surely, yeah. he's coming from God. That's right. Slowly but surely, the fulfillment of the prophecy is coming from on high. That's right. What did he say? Now in the book of... The wisdom of Solomon. You got to read quick, Sam. Book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 15. What is it? Thine almighty word. Thine almighty word. Leap down from heaven. <laughs> Leap down from where? From heaven. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word made flesh. God making flesh by the creating power of his word was when his promise was made into an act. That's right. So when... The Son of Man was saw in the book of Daniel coming in the clouds. clouds of heaven. That was God's word that would take on form. Yes. My Lord, my Lord, my and the form, the promise of the form will come from heaven. From heaven. The promise of the form mm. will come from heaven. Hallelujah. By the power of the Ancient of Days. That's right. All power being given to the Ancient of Days, letting you know that the Ancient of Days, or rather to the Son of Man, Son of Man. letting you know the Son of Man, the Ancient of Days, the Father, is in him. That's right. And then the, or the Son of Man will submit to the will of the Ancient of Days. That's it. Now you out there think, you got Jesus here, Ancient of Days there. Listen, at the book of Revelation. Good now. Back in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 6. Listen. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne. In the midst of the throne. And of the four beasts. What is it? And in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain. Be quick. Having seven horns and seven eyes. And what? Which are the seven spirits of God uh -huh. sent forth into all the earth. Yeah. And he came and took the book. He came and took the book. Out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And then what? And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb. Why? Having every one of them hearts. And golden vials and full of odors. And what did they do? And golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. Yes. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. Oh! Mm. Thou art worthy. He took the book. To take the book. Thou art worthy. Thou Jesus was the only one. That's right. Worthy. Worthy to take the, the book. To fulfill what was written That's right. in the prophets. That's right. And he took it from the Spirit of God. Or the Spirit of God manifests His will through that Son. That's it. Of Himself. He couldn't do nothing. He couldn't do nothing. Someone said, well, He came to the Father on His own. No, He didn't. No. 
coming to the Father on his own, represent the fulfillment of prophecy that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. So who brings the Son of Man to the Spirit, the Spirit that is in it? Coming to the Spirit just simply represent that he come to do the will of him that sent me. That's right. So when you see him coming through the clouds, that simply means the Son of Man was sent. Mm. I'm sent. That's right. He said, I'm sent from the Father. From the Father. Not the physical body came from the Father, but the promise came from the Father. And what John saw was what the promise would look like. That's right. And what Daniel saw was what the promise would look like. That's right. Mary ain't had no begotten son in the days of Daniel. No way. No way. So you thought it was a little God coming to the Father, yet dumb, ignorant, hell-deserving, blind, devil-deceived thing. Blind. Blind. That's right. Under us. There's, There's one. One God. You see, when you're not sent by God, you can't analyze these things and no. take it apart and make the Bible harmonize. No. And the moment you hear it harmonize, it falls in place so beautifully. That's right. Amen. That's Three it. more verses so I can quit. Revelation 5 and now I'm at verse 9. Oh, and they sung a new song. Yeah. Saying, saying, thou art worthy to take the book. He worthy. That's right. Spirit couldn't do it. Don't no. say God can do everything. All right, just a minute. Just, just, just <laughs> he, a moment. He can't lie. Cannot lie. And he can't die. That's right. And he couldn't shed blood. That's right. That's why he was manifested in the flesh. In the flesh. The flesh was called son, son of man, son of God, redeemer. Son of David, Lion of the tribe of Judah, Root of David, Lamb of God, Sacrifice, That's right. Man of God, Mediator, all that was talking about the man Christ Jesus. That's right. The spirit that was in that man, Ancient of Days, I am that I am, Jehovah, Lord God Almighty, Lord God of hosts, the Lord. Mighty God, everlasting Father, everlasting Father was in the Prince That's right. of Peace. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Few more verses, son. And they sung a new song. Uh, glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. They sung a new song. Saying, Thou art worthy. If you can't keep up with this, you, you, you just order the message or go right to YouTube. Because remember, every time we webcast live, it's automatically recorded on YouTube. After the service, you can actually go get your phone and get your computer and look at the whole service right away. That's right. Right away while you're eating your hamburger. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> while you're eating your hamburger, you're going to be watching the message and just feasting on all these good things. That's right. These preachers don't have no knowledge. They're blind. Blind. You see, there's a lot in the Bible that sounds like literal, but it isn't. It is. A good example is Isaiah 9 and 6. Mm -hmm. Under us, a child is born. That's talking about the arrival of the Son of God. And Mary was not in the Old Testament, and Jesus was not born back then. That's right. But John, or rather Isaiah, by the Spirit, spoke present. present. Yeah. Unto us a child is born. No, he wasn't. No. But he speak those things that are not as though they were. As it is written. Listen. Romans chapter 5 and at verse 17. As it is written. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. Chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. As it is written. As it is written, I made thee a father of many nations. I made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God who quickeneth the dead. Yes. And calleth those things. God called those things. Which be not. That be not. As though they were. As if it actually exists. That's right. That's why you think it's more than one and more, right. more than one God up in heaven, you blind, devil-minded thing out devil. there. That's right. Yes, I preach one God, and he's a father, and Jesus Christ is, he, he was, is he, he going to be him. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Acts 238, let's close it out. Acts 238. I'm not done. I'm just going to knock off. Yeah. I'm just going to knock off here. Amen. So I can get you sinners that have been watching this program who went to some church and bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ as you thought as your personal savior and bid all these lies and confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you are saved and, and uh, confess and join churches and pray sinners prayers and all of that, got baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you thought you were saved? You wasn't even safe. That's right. Holy Ghost, no speaking in tongue, no nothing. No nothing. They ain't got nothing like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's right. You got to do it. Listen, when Jesus told Nicodemus, verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man is born of the water and of the spirit, 
You cannot enter in when you're born of the waters, when you repent of your sins and baptize in water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you're born of the Spirit, you're filled with the Spirit, by the Spirit, from the Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, as they did on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. That's what put you in the church. The Holy Ghost put you in the church, and there's one church. And Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church, and my the church. gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's it. Now, you check up on your new birth. Check up and say, the way you claim you saved. And see, do you got it like the word of God says here? That's and if right. you don't have it like this, you might as well get ready to acknowledge you're nothing but a sinner. Preacher, sinner. Deacon, sinner. Mother of the church, you are old sinner. Old sinner. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. You might as well get ready to pack up and leave your church. Leave your church. Who, Pastor Jennings? Why you? That's why I'm talking to you. And your mama. And your mama. Amen. Yo mama. Yo mama. Hey, glory to God. That's right. Amen. Your grandpappy. Your children. You might as well pack up and leave your churches. Every one of you. Every one of you. Every in the name of, of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For to get your sins washed away. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be right today and be baptized the right way in the name of Jesus Christ and walk with the truth of the gospel. Stand on your feet if you want it. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. You that are standing, follow them, please. You that are standing. I have to read the scripture, Pastor. Huh? This, this scripture. All right, let's make it quick, Will. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 8. Ecclesiastes? Chapter 4 and verse 8. That's what? There's one alone. And what? And there's not a second. If there's not a second, then don't tell me there's two guards up there. That's right. Let's see, do he have any relatives? Yea, he hath neither child. He don't have no child. Nor brother. Nor brother. Yet is there no end of all his labor. There's no end of all his work. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches. And what? Neither saith he, for whom do I labor? And bereave my soul of good. All right. We covered a lot of ground today. Amen. Amen. God willing, we're... I've been gone, and all right, I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm read this uh, baptismal report because I've been gone, and we got three-week report, and I don't want to back up anymore, so you bear with me. Uh, we got Washington, D.C. When, when we went to Washington, 227 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. 26 in headquarters, 6 in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey, 14 in Bronx, New York, 1 Pine Bush, New York, 1 Fredericksburg, Virginia, 2 Baltimore, 4 and Bangor, Maine, eight in uh, Truton, Massachusetts, 10 in Raleigh, North Carolina, four in Rocky Mount, one in, uh, I think, Lurenburg, North Carolina, four in Columbia, one in Charleston, 11 in Augusta, 10 in Atlanta, five in Valdosta, 10 in Memphis, four in Jackson, 13 in Miami, 14 in Orlando, two in Lafayette, Louisiana, three in Monroe, Louisiana, five in San Antonio, Texas, Five in Houston, two in Minnesota, 14 in Los Angeles, three in Sacramento, 15 in Detroit, seven in Indianapolis, Indiana, three in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 11 in Columbus, Ohio, 24 in Cincinnati, Ohio, four in Federal Way, Washington, three in Mobile, six in Montgomery, Alabama, international baptisms, 60 in uh, Amsterdam during the European Conference, four in Toronto, Canada, five in Montreal, two in Edmonton, Canada, six in Ontario, Canada, one in Mauritius Island, one in the island of St. Lucia, two in Dubai, 26 in the Samoan Islands, two in Cape Town, South Africa, three in Durban, South Africa, 10 in Johannesburg, South Africa, eight in Malawi, 33 in Mozambique, three in the Bahamas, 17 in Jamaica, 11 in Trinidad, seven in Barbados, five in Guyana, 21 in Suriname, three in uh, Grenada, and three in St. Kitts, Four in Antigua, a total of 720 souls baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 720 souls in three weeks. Your pastor can live if he's 150. He won't baptize probably 75 in 100 years. Amen. Amen. This thing is from the Lord God knows. Amen. We thank God for this. All right. Come on back to my uh, conference team, my convention team. Please remember our meeting at 4 o'clock. And God willing to all our photographers, please be in the meeting 4 o'clock sharp. Please be there because I have a, I have a busy schedule, a very busy. So I want to take care of business right to the point. 
and get it done and over with. And God willing, we'll be back this afternoon. Uh, prayer will begin at 5.30. Give you more time to get your grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> all right, let us all stand. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen.